Hello, welcome to Nick's Computer Fix. Here's a video on the Lenovo Idea Pad 3 Intel i5 12th generation unboxing, setup, and review. Let's go ahead and quickly open the box and take everything out. First, of course, we have the laptop, and then we have the power supply and charger, and nothing else is in the box. So let's go ahead and quickly unwrap the laptop here, and we'll put it down and take a closer look. And by the way, help support Nick's Computer Fix by clicking on the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. And it's appreciated. Okay, let's go ahead and take a close-up look at the HD webcam on top of the screen. It comes with a privacy screen protector for your protection, which is great. It also has a button above the keyboard that works as a power button and fingerprint reader. Looking at attached labels, we see Intel Core i5. We also see... This has a full function USB-C port, it has AI noise cancelling, and of course an HD webcam which I mentioned earlier. Now let's go ahead and flip this laptop over on its backside and we'll take a look at what's on the back. We have some air vents for keeping the laptop cool, and that's the input air. And then we also have some rubber feet, one on top and then on the left and right side. We have a left speaker and we have a right speaker. This uh, has stereo speakers. And then on the left side, we have some ports. So let's take a close-up look at them. We have a power jack, we have power LEDs, we have USB 3, HDMI, a USB-C port, and a 3.5 millimeter port for audio, like for headphones and so forth. And then if we flip it on the right side here, we have power and charging LEDs, we have an SD reader, which is unusual these days, and we also have a USB 3 port. And that's all the ports on this laptop, so let's go ahead and set this down on the table here. Open up the lid and press the power button and boot this laptop up. And you can also see that the keyboard lights up and then blinks off when it boots up. So it does have a backlit keyboard that you can enable and turn off um, whenever you want. Now you can also see that uh, it went into Windows 11 here relatively quickly. I estimated that in real time it was around 10 to 12 seconds and that's pretty good for boot up time right into Windows. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some specs using CPU ID and zoom in on that a little bit and as you can see we have a Intel Core i5-1235U CPU that's the Elder Lake version, and it's only using 15 watts of power. Also, this has two primary cores plus eight efficient cores, which gives us um, a total of 12 threads. So this is a very good CPU for a laptop, and it's running right now at, um, what is that, 3.8, almost 3.9 megahertz. So not too shabby. I like it. It has plenty of speed. However, it comes with just 8 gigabytes of RAM, and that's enough for most daily tasks of surfing the internet, doing emails, and doing some word processing for the most part. But keep in mind that it is not upgradable, so 8 gigabytes is the max that you can ever have in this uh, laptop. But it's not a deal breaker for a mid-range laptop. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the internal graphics. It has Intel UHD graphics running at 350 megahertz, which provides you with decent speed and good graphics for running most applications. This is really a pretty good laptop in my opinion. Start menu opens up very quickly and easy to navigate and move around in. As you can see, I can move around very quickly with no problem at all. Response time is, you know, very reasonable, um, close to very good actually. Even considering that Windows 11 start menu is considered a little bit sluggish on a lot of laptops. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up Task Manager within Windows, which is a Windows built-in um, 
basically spec performance uh, utility and we'll move this over a little bit and I have already clicked on the performance tab so you can see that the CPU is only using about 2%, 4%, 3% so forth running roughly at 1.3, 1.49 gigahertz at idle speed and the base speed is 1.3 gigahertz and if we look at the memory usage um, it's only 4.3 gigabytes out of a uh, total of 8 gigabytes so that leaves us 7.7 .7 gigabytes of uh, memory or RAM uh, that's available for opening up and using um, other applications like internet browsers for accessing the internet, checking our email, um, using Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel spreadsheets and so forth they'll run just fine on this laptop and uh, you'll be happy okay that's the end of this video Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.